In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a VS Code FTP extension to upload and download files from your web server. Here I have my VS Code editor open and a simple file running live on the internet on my domain name. So the first thing you want to do is go to extension button, start typing FTP-simple. VS Code has several different FTP extensions, but in this example, we're going to use FTP Simple. Go ahead, click on the first result and click on the install button. Now go ahead and close all of these windows and hit F1. Now when this drop down shows up, start typing FTP Simple and choose the option that says config. Now here, go ahead and replace localhost with the name of your own web server. Type in the IP address of your actual web server from your web hosting control panel. Now if you use FTP, go ahead and use port 21 and just FTP. But if you're using SFTP, change the port to 22 and type in SFTP. Type in your username and the password for your web server. On my web server, my site is located at dash var dash www dash semicolon dot dev. So type your own root folder there if you have one. Now go ahead and press F1 again and start typing FTP dash simple remote. Now select the only option on the list and then select your domain name and then find current directory and click on that as well. Now at this point VS Code will start downloading all of the files from your FTP web server. Once that's done, it's going to kind of restart again and you will see all of your files on the left hand side in your project view. I'm going to go ahead and find the file that I have currently open in my Chrome browser. I'm going to change the contents of this file and hit Ctrl S or go to File and Save File. As soon as you do that, the file will be uploaded to your FTP web server. You'll see this default pop-up message asking you to confirm to overwrite the file. Now I'm going to refresh my browser and you will see that the file has been successfully updated live on the server.